Hello, I'm Dr. Donald Goucher, anesthesiologist at Straub Medical Center in Oahu. Um, the assumption is that you've already seen um, the previous video entitled Quad Split Ventilation System Update 01. So this is a uh, update 02 to that um, system, just explaining some of the new understandings and advancements that we've made with the Quad Split Ventilator System. This system allows you to ventilate four patients with a ventilator, each requiring a different minute ventilation. Currently with the COVID-19, we predict there's not gonna be enough ventilators for the critically ill in the United States, and this system would only be used if no standard ventilators were available for a patient and no other um, accepted options. Um, the system has never been tested in a real person, um, and in an ideal situation, we would spend more time studying this system. However, time is of the essence. All patients would need to be paralyzed for the system to work, um, and there is always a theoretical risk of cross-contamination between patients, despite the biofilters being used. So first, we'll take a look here at our um, new type of inspiratory valve. So before we had the gated valve, and the problem with the gated valve was it comes with oils from the manufacturer that might be challenging to actually eliminate from the uh, gated valve. So what we did is we actually used a standard number five LMA ray here, and we actually just cut it off. And then we made attachments here we then use two blocks, one block on top and one on the bottom, and this is just kind of a fancy 3D printed version we used here, but any two, we use two blocks of wood or anything, and a standard C-clamp here. By adjusting the C-clamp, we can change our tidal volume and peak inspiratory pressure to each patient. Um, next, you see an auxiliary oxygen supply. With this, we can actually um, individualize a patient's FiO2. Um, in addition, potentially, you could add nitric oxide to uh, each individual patient. Um, I know there's a lot of research into that as a possible uh, um, uh, new advancement for the treatment of COVID-19 patients. The other thing, too, is we've actually introduced a what's called a PEEP water valve. And in this diagram, what you see here is the proximal limb going down, and you'll see a syringe which can add water directly into a water reservoir. As you add more water, you can then increase each individual patient's PEEP. Um, you'll notice also there's some larger tubing which is put there to reduce splashing going up. So you'll notice we have some syringes here. They're different colors indicating different patients. Um, these syringes are then attached to our water peep valve located right here. And you can see over here we have our expiratory flow going down this way and water can be added with this syringe here to your desired peep. Then it is, comes out this way. This is our splash chamber here, and then going up to our 3D printed one-way valve there. So I just want to talk a little bit about uh, monitoring. Um, we talked before about end tidal CO2 monitoring here and the manifold, which um, is made up of three-way stop cocks. Um, and then this will go directly to your monitor. Um, next, we have over here a monitor which can read uh, tidal volumes and peak pressures and also end tidal CO2 measurements. And this is just an inline connector right here. Next, we get over here. This is an inline connector here which can read a patient's FiO2 for individualization of the patient's FiO2. Next, this is arterial line transducer. Um, this could actually be attached directly in line to give the patients pressures in the airway. 
And I think we showed this before. This is actually a manometer that can be attached with large bore tubing directly to the patient's airway and a respirometer right here, which can be used in line to measure a patient's tidal volume. From Oahu, stay safe.